Hello, and welcome to X-Life. Now, Joel, what is X-Life? Well, let me give you a quick rundown. We have 10 lives. However, each life is different. Our first life, we spawn with one heart. Yes, that's right, one heart. And that cannot be increased. If we die, we respawn with two hearts. But what if we die again? Well, that time, we respawn with three hearts. I think you're getting the pattern, to be honest. Now, how easy is it to die with one heart? Here we have a five block high fall. That will kill you. Without armor, basically, any mob can kill you, which is why I'm not on the server yet because I I'm, I I'm scared. Now I've set myself the challenge today of trying to survive the first episode without dying. I feel like the less hearts you have, the more clout you have. So I'm gonna try and stay on one heart for as long as I possibly can. It's gonna be tricky, but let's give it a shot. Oh, also, if you're excited for this new series and wanna see every episode, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It's gonna be a good series, trust me. Also ignore the chickens. So here we are on the server. Did I mention this is a modded series? We have quite a few mods on here. And also, I actually built this hub along with Scott. Pretty happy with how it turned out. But here you can see all the different players. There's a lot of us on this server. So as you can see in the bottom left there, I have one heart and I'm already down one hunger, which is not good. I, I wonder if you can starve. Will it kill you? I have no idea. Anyway, I've been living for two minutes. We've got a little starter kit in here. And honestly, I'm a bit scared to venture out. I have no idea how these waystones work, but I'm pretty sure we can use them to teleport. I've been reading the chat. Other people have been recording before me. And apparently there's quite a lot of stuff that can kill you. But it's daytime right now, so I feel pretty safe. Let's head out. Oh my gosh, look at these random structures here. These are cool. I have no idea which direction to go. Let's just go east and start gathering some stuff. I need to get armor ASAP. But first, wood. And I'm going to be really careful about jumping down and stuff and looking out for mobs as I've heard rumors of crocodiles and how deadly they are. Who's left this floating tree? Two floating trees. I know we haven't got many lives, guys, but come on. Going in a cave would probably be quite stupid as mobs can spawn with ease. Let's just dig down. Got steak. I need to find coal ASAP, though. Guess I could make some charcoal. That probably would be wise. Block ourselves in so no mobs can come down. I don't want to, like, accidentally suffocate in a wall or something. Like, gravel falling on me will kill me. Let's see if we can gather some iron. I think we should be able to do that without dying. Beautiful. Just discovered a weird-looking block. I don't know what this is. Limestone. Interesting. I am going to make an iron pickaxe first. And then we're going to make iron armor. Just in case I find diamonds or whatever. I'll keep using these stone pickaxes for now. Now, I noticed on these mods, we've got some new tools. I was looking through. Let's see if I can make one. So here, I've just made some smooth stone. You get a stone hammer. And this, apparently, will be a bit better for mining. If I do this, yeah, as you can see, it mines really weirdly. But is a lot quicker than using a pickaxe. But also gets used up a lot quicker as well. Also, I'm feeling a lot more secure now in my iron armor. Ooh, redstone. All right, so this is actually good because I'm pretty sure you can make armor out of redstone in this mod pack. And what's that? Oh, it's glowing. What is that? Magenta dye. Wait, what? What? I'm so confused. That's like a dye or... <gasps> Oh, yes, that's what I've been looking for. Oh, and more iron as well. I can hear lava, though. Oh, and our inventory's full. Oh, okay, there's the lava. Please don't be lava underneath here. Nice. Oh, my gosh, what were they? Some sort of, like, lava-looking creeper things. Oh, I'm scared. So I'm actually going to make a diamond sword because I feel like that'd be better for defending myself with. Let's see if we can find somewhere to build a base. I'm looking in particular for a spruce biome. That spawn over there. Ooh, a wandering trader. Can't trade anything because I've got no emeralds, but the heck, that's actually... What? Look at that, 40 emeralds, but you get some awesome boots. What was that? Something was blue there. I don't know what that was. It looked like some sort of lizard. Was that a crocodile? That might be a crocodile. That was scary. Ha ha! Our first chicken kill of the series. That's a crocodile there. Our second chicken kill of the series. So those are the things we need to avoid like wildfire. What is that? Oh my gosh, are they turtles? I don't know what they are, but it scared me. Oh look, a village. Probably already been explored, but we may as well go have a look. People have been here because the blast furnace is gone. I was going to take that. Yeah, it's all been looted, which is a shame, but it's bound to happen. The desert over there. I really want to find a tiger biome. Oh, there's a lucky block. I've got no space in my inventory, so I'm not going to risk it right now because they can be pretty dangerous as well. Although, should I? Because it could give us some really good stuff. Okay, TNT. Run, 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 run. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we did a good job staying away. Catherine's stuff. Catherine, do you have a bed? I'm going to borrow it. Thank you, Catherine. 
this wandering villager gives wither skulls. That's so good. Another lucky block. Do we dare? Yeah, we dare. What was that? Came out. Oh, it's loads of chickens. Oh, and some diamonds. How many diamonds? Oh, <gasps> 20 diamonds. That's so good. We can make diamond armor now. What's the point in having this? Nice. We could make a boat as we should be pretty safe out at sea. There's a lot of wandering traders around. Never seen so many. When we get our villager trading set up, these guys look like they're going to be very useful. We'll have to get like a melon and pumpkin farm set up soon. There's someone's house up there. Oh, and that's, is that spawn over there? We're back to spawn. Crocodile. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's chasing me. Oh, I saw it last second. I was too busy looking at whoever's house this was. Hero Villager. Someone's been messing with Lucky Blocks. Yeah, I wonder what those things are. Should we head inside one? I'm not sure if there's going to be bad stuff inside them. I guess we can find out. They look really friendly. So, people already been in here? A gold block. Maybe not. Lucky Block. Oh my gosh. Are they evil? I don't know. I don't care. I don't think they are, but I'm getting away. Scared the life out of me when they teleported in. Whoa, there's lots of stuff up here. Ooh, look at this stuff in this chest. Let's get rid of all this cobblestone. Golden apple. That'd be very useful. Punch one. Terrible. Not that much useful stuff. But there's that gold block. Ooh, and there's actually stuff in these places. That's interesting. They're good. I should go in every single one of these I see. <sighs> I've been walking around for about 50 minutes now and still not found a tiger biome. Oh my gosh. Yes. Finally. Oh, and there's chickens here as well for celebrating. Well, this took a long time, but here we are. Now, I was looking for one of these biomes because I really want to build my house in a tiger biome. I normally go for swamps, but no. I really like the color of the grass here and stuff, so I thought, let's build a house here. Let's see if we can find a cool spot to build one. I'm not sure where spawn is, but I think we're about 3,000 blocks away. If I build my house on like the edge here, looking out across there, that's quite cool. We stand out. Quite awkward to get to, but there's like a plains biome over there by the looks of it. Or we could build up there. Problem with these biomes is they're quite steep. Gotta be careful. Oh, this is a view up here. Oh, look, there's like a weird blue tree there. I guess we should keep going this way and get closer to spawn. I see you. Oh my gosh. I nearly just walked into a berry bush. That would have probably like killed me. All right, we're starting to merge back into other biomes here. So I think we gotta go up here. Maybe just here. We've got like a good view of all the spruce biome. We could probably flatten this out a little bit. We've got a nice plains biome underneath us as well for a bit of contrast. A river over there. This is a really nice area. Let's dig into like a cave and start lighting this place up. Now after starting my Minecraft goal series, I feel like my starter bases need to be stepped up. In previous series I've done, they've been very basic. Or I've just not built one. This one's going to look pretty good as I've designed it on a creative world. But down here will be like our mini safe place for now. We can store our stuff that we don't need for now. And I have no idea how these waystones work. I probably should test it out. Let me plop it down and see what happens. Is it safe up here? It looks pretty safe. So I've right clicked it. It takes three enchantment points, but I can teleport to spawn. All right, and then I can right click it. And oh, it's been named. Bruce Do I get to choose that name? Guess not. So that's interesting. I just wasted all my enchantment points. Can I break it? Yes. Okay, nice. So that's cool. That's good for teleporting to and from spawn. I can set them up at other people's bases and stuff. And I can like make one here as well, like a waystone point where people can come to. I need to take advantage of some of these new cool tools, such as the lumber axe, which does more damage than my sword. What? So hopefully with this, we should be able to chop this. And it chops down the entire tree. Beautiful. Let's gather up a load of spruce wood and also clear out space at the same time. Honestly, mods like this, lifesavers. So I'm just digging down, collecting some resources. Can I hear a villager? That sounds like a villager, but I'm at level 42. Oh, that is not, that's not a villager. Let's, um, let's leave. Uh-oh, this, this is, that's, that's a mine shaft, isn't it? It's very dangerous and scary. Let's just keep going this way. I can hear so much scary stuff right now. Oh gosh. What is that? That sounds horrendous. What is that? That's so spooky. Found a cave. Scared, but it looks kind of safe. What the heck? This cave is huge. Oh my gosh. You can hear spooky stuff, but look at it. Like, what are those things? I'm going to block this off for now, but note to self, come back there. I'll leave a little hole so I know. Also, these hammers are my new favorite thing. I'll be, I've nearly run out of this one. I didn't find any diamonds, but I managed to get enough resources, I think, for now, where I'll be good to build my house. I'll have to start a proper strip mine at some point using those hammers. I feel like they're going to be really useful for that. But I was just trying to gather some XP points as well because I kind of want 
to use the teleporters at some point. So I was trying to build up my XP. I've collected quite a lot of stuff that I need. We got some bricks, we got some iron, which we needed. It's pretty safe out here. I'm gonna collect a bit more wood. We also need some leaves for this build. So made some shears. So there's a couple of things I wanna set up. One of them is a very simple cactus farm as I need some green dyes. There's a pretty cool block I wanna show you guys. And the second thing is some dark oak wood. I'm now regretting not collecting any from all the time before when we saw all those forests. But luckily, I can use my waystone here and I should be able to teleport. Now we don't actually need that much. So while we're there, let's see if we can find a desert as well. Oh, and I should take my bed. This one is now called Majolakak. While I'm here, let me check my life book quickly. I've been living for an hour. I think it's actually close to two now. Also, I'm not that far away from the spawn as I thought, which is good. See a crocodile over there hunting some chickens. A man of my own taste. Maybe we'll actually get along, us and the crocodiles. I love this. I love that so much. Look at this croc. It's coming for me. Oh my gosh, there's a pillager tower there. It's a bit burnt. There are some pillagers over there. Let's just stay away from them, guys. I'm a bit lost at the moment. I don't know where that desert was. Okay, I'm going to risk this lucky buck. Hopefully it'll have like some sort of cactus in it. Oh, bookshelves and books. That's actually pretty good. We've been pretty lucky so far. Let's see if that streak continues. What is that? <gasps> is that loads of terracotta? Give me cactus, please, 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 please. Oh no. No, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh my. <sighs> I didn't have my pickaxe equipped. I could have got out of that. I lasted two hours. Are you serious? I'm so sad. Oh, keep inventories on though. My helmet broke? Are you serious? All right, at least we're near spawn now. We can go looking for the blooming beach. I'm so annoyed. At least we've got two hearts now, but we've only got nine lives. Oh, the clouts. I'm so... Oh, gosh. I really wanted to survive an episode. But I was being so careful as well. I think I have the same amount of hearts as a chicken now. At least I can take a bit of fall damage. Oh, gosh. I just ran straight past two crocodiles. I didn't even realize it. Yes, I've retraced my steps and I found that desert and I see cacti. Wunderbar. I actually found another waystone over here, so I might leave it and then I can get to the desert. I think I can only teleport to spawn with that one. I'm not sure how they work, but that should be enough cacti for now. Let's just teleport to spawn and then can we use this one to teleport home? Wait, why is my one to my house gone? Does that mean I've got to walk all the way back? So I think I might build my house actually closer to spawn. There's a little bit of the spruce biome here, which has got this nice cliff behind it, which we could later change to make it even look even nicer. And it like sort of has got a swamp over there. There's a plains. I feel like here would be a great spot. I just have to go collect everything as everything's about 300 blocks away. And be careful of that. No, I got stuck in a hole. Oh my gosh, it's run away, thank goodness. So before, our base was going to be up there. And honestly, it was a bit high up. It took me quite a long time to dig down. I wasn't a fan. All right, here's where we were before. So my waystone's turned off. Why did it turn off? So we got quite a lot of stuff in here that we need to sort out. And I think, have I got any? I've got some string, some leather. I need more. Let's go kill some animals quickly. All right, so this is what I wanted to make. One small backpack and then we can convert it to a medium backpack and then we can convert that even further into a large backpack and this can hold a lot of stuff so what we can do is just start piling stuff into here and i think we should be able to carry everything we have yeah over with ease so i can always come back to this cave if i want to but let's head to our new location which is over that way somewhere oh i just took my first ever fall damage it was only half a heart but I finally did it. So this was the spot over here. I'm gonna quickly dig into this cave over here as we need somewhere to set up all our stuff that's safe. So there's not much point making an automated cactus farm because I don't need that much cacti. Instead, we'll just grow some here. We're actually allowed to have camera accounts on this series, so Lazy Beans is gonna make an appearance. So this is actually going to be a really sped up time-lapse. You can see my player sort of whizzing around there as this took around two hours to build. And I'm happy to say I took no damage while building this thing. I was actually really careful, used a lot of dirt to build myself up. And luckily I designed not a huge build, but just like a quite nice one. I wanted a massive window. I wanted to go for like a modern slash ruined vibe i don't know why also originally i was gonna have a green roof but we just didn't have enough cacti it would have taken hours so instead we used this slate block which i think looks pretty cool and inside we had loads of chests as you can see there and i also added on this nice chimney and honestly it's looking really good now one of the best things this series has in my opinion is this if we head over here grab two buckets of water we can create an infinite water bucket look at that 
And we get the two buckets back, which is just ridiculous. This is very OP. Let's make a little pond here. And let's head over here and have a look at our house. Yes. Looks very homely. I want to add a tree in just there. Like a spruce tree. I think that'll look cool. But I think it looks good. It only took around three hours or so to build, so I'm happy with that. I love these, like, sideways slab blocks so you can make cool chimneys. Hate how the sugar cane grows higher than far, though. What the heck is that? We've got an exit at the back here. I'm actually going to dig into this cave and try and, like, link it up. Maybe do some stuff inside underground, as I feel like that'd be safest. And we've also got an entrance at the front here as well, where I think I'm going to have, like, a bridge over there, and then we'll have some stuff in this land as well. But that looks pretty cool. I'm very happy with this house. But that actually brings us to the end of this first episode. I hope you guys are excited for this series. I definitely am. I can't wait to get trying out a load of these mods. There's some really cool ones in here that I can't wait to show you guys. And next episode, we're probably going to work on upgrading our armor as, yeah, it is not looking great at the moment. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe if you haven't already. I shall see you another time. Goodbye.